The fear of retirement and having enough money to live out your life as you get older starts to become more and more of a real thought, especially as you get into your 30s. I'm currently 30 years old and I've been dividend investing for around 6 or 7 years. And because of a decent sized business liquidity event that happened around the time I started dividend investing, I was able to invest a large lump sum of money into various dividend stocks and ETFs. This portfolio, for example, alone is worth over $492,000, and I do have other portfolios across other brokerages. But the more that time goes on, I'm constantly thought with the idea of selling off all the current stocks and ETFs that I currently have across all of my portfolios and putting that lump sum of money into the SEHD ETF. Now, when I first started dividend investing, I made the usual mistakes, things like chasing after high yielding dividend stocks and ETFs because I didn't understand the power of compounding. And to be honest, I truly didn't even understand how the long-term math would look. But all it took for me was a quick look at a dividend calculator with all of my numbers and SEHD plugged in. And now I think my mind might be made up. In a minute here, we are going to go through all the numbers and I'm gonna show you exactly how my numbers would look. If I were to sell most of my stocks and ETFs and put all that money into SEHD, Let's first talk a little bit more about what SEHD ETF really is. So SEHD is a Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF. It's an investment fund that tracks the performance of the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index, which is composed of 100 high dividend yielding US stocks. Now there's several reasons why I love the SEHD ETF, and I'm sure we can all agree these reasons are great. First off, it's the dividend income that SEHD provides. This means that investors can rely on the steady stream of income that SCHD pays every single quarter. And what I love about this is that SCHD has a fast, fast rate of growing their dividend income, which simply put means that if you were to buy shares of SCHD today, most likely one, two, three, four, five years from now, the dividends that you're going to be getting paid then are going to be much, much higher. Also, SCHD is highly diversified which is something that I really took seriously early on, even in my dividend investing journey. I always thought it was important to not put all your eggs in one basket and to buy into a various variety of different stocks and ETFs to sort of balance out the portfolio no matter what type of markets are ahead. SEHD provides investors with exposure to a diversified portfolio in US stocks across different sectors, which definitely helps reduce risk and also reduces volatility which us boring long-term dividend investors really, really like. Now next, SCHD has a low expense ratio, which definitely adds up when you are investing, say, hundreds of thousands or even over a million dollars into it. SCHD's expense ratio is 0.06%, which is lower than the average across many, many mutual funds and ETFs across the board. Also, SCHD's long-term performance is impressive. Over the long-term, dividend-paying stocks have historically outperformed non-dividend-paying stocks, which a lot of people don't know. An SEHD ETF has a track record of strong performance since the inception of 2011. If you look at how SEHD has done, match it up next to lots of other very, very popular ETFs or even some stocks that have done very well, you might be surprised to see how amazing SEHD's performance has been. So now that you have an idea of where I'm coming from and why I think SEHD might be the end-all be-all investment for my specific strategy, of being a long-term dividend investor. Let's go ahead and input all of my numbers into the dividend stock calculator. So right here I have SEHD and I have 16,235 shares of SEHD, which would be around the amount of shares that I could buy if I liquidated the majority of my dividend stock portfolios. So the initial annual dividend yield for SEHD is somewhere of around 3.76%. The expected annual dividend increase is around 10.5%, which the expected annual amount increase is going to be higher or lower depending on the year, of course. The share price for SEHD is somewhere around $73.91 as of right now, and the expected annual share price appreciation, let's say 3%. The annual contribution we're going to keep at zero. So this is going to be in theory if I were to just buy SEHD and leave it alone, turn drip on, which means that all the dividends are going to be reinvested into buying more shares of SEHD. So it's not like I'm going to be spending any money with these dividends outside the portfolio. These dividends are all going to be reinvested in theory for as long as possible. Now years invested 30 years because I'm currently 30 years old. So this is how my investment will look by time I'm 60. So here we go, all the numbers are calculated. Let's see what we are ending with. 
So the first year, we're earning around $45,000 of annual dividend income. Now, $45,000 of annual dividend income is not bad whatsoever. But currently, across all my brokerages added up, I earn almost double that because I am invested into some higher yielding stuff. So if I were to sell off everything and buy SHD, it would definitely make my annual dividend income right off the bat to take a bit of a hit. But long term, we're going to see what this is going to turn into. So my first balance after the first year is $1.27 million. By year number five, we're up to around $77,000 of annual dividend income, which is much closer to what the portfolios are making right now. So skipping a few years down by year number 10, I'd be around 40 years old and I'd be earning around $161,000 in annual dividend income. And again, this is a very impressive dividend amount to be earning per year, but with the amount of money invested, it still seems a little bit low. At this point, the dividend portfolio of SHG would be around $2.5 million worth. By year number 15, I'd be around 45 years old in theory. Be earning around $372,000 in annual dividend income with around a $4.1 million SHG filled portfolio. Not 20 years in, in theory, I'd be around 50 years old, earning just under $1 million in annual income from SHG alone, holding over 53,000 shares of SHG, which is absolutely amazing. With a portfolio value of around $8 million, by 25 years in, we'd be around 55 years old, with $3.2 million in annual dividend income and a portfolio worth of around $19 million. By year number 30, all the way at the bottom, if we were to just invest everything right now into SHD and let it do its thing, we would be earning around $13.8 million in annual dividend income, which doesn't even seem real around $62 million portfolio of just SEHD and around 274,000 shares of SEHD. Now this just explains the power of compounding, which refers to the process of earning interest, earning dividends on the principal amount, and then reinvesting it and earning more dividends on that amount and then reinvesting that and having the snowball just continue and continue to grow. But it's important to note that even with smaller numbers, the power of compounding demonstrates that over time, if the dividends are reinvested for long enough and the compounding effect is allowed to take place, the money's going to keep growing bigger and bigger and bigger. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to please like this video and subscribe for more. Thanks as always for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.